hello, 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 great viewers of my time. You are welcome to Bless Biafra Network, a bar no winging network where you can get authentic news and the great news that you are looking for. Do not think we are joking here. Come to Bless Biafra Network right now. You will see what is happening. This is what we are talking about. It's one of the best. I'm talking about the best. What are we going to show you right now? Something new. Check it out. Well, actually, the headline says, There is nothing like Heda Pharma Crisis. It is Heda Terrorism, and we will destroy it. None the Kano. Now, in detail, Mazen Namo, the Kano, the leader of IPOP, has said, There is nothing like Heda Pharma Crisis. That it is Heda Terrorism. Vows to deal with it. He wrote, Does it mean, slash Nigeria do not read their own newspaper? Or is it because they lack the capacity to reason? Even a house, goat, knows there is nothing like Heda, former crisis. The farmer never goes to the Flanny Heda. It is the Flanny come terrorist that goes to the farmer and he goes without invitation. He destroys the farmer's crop and, flan and they unleash terror if the farmer resists. So it is Heda terrorism and we will obliterate it, slash ESL. Now the tweet below. Does it mean slash Nigeria does not read their own newspaper or is it because they lack the capacity to reason? Even a house goat knows there is nothing like header farmer crisis. The farmer never goes to the Fulani header. It is the Fulani header come terrorist that goes to the farmer and he goes without invitation. He destroyed the farmer's crops and unleashed terror. If the farmer resists so it is head terrorism and we will obliterate it. Slash ESN Amnesty International. Now, guys, actually, what we are saying here is that it's not by force to stay in someone's forest or someone's bushes. It's true that people in Nigeria are living in different parts of the country, but they all live in the city. of them is living in the forest and that is the way Fulani have to behave no matter what nobody has monopoly in killing and nobody has monopoly in violence if they say they will not leave the world that are living in the country called Nigeria they should go back to the north and stay there we don't entertain terrorism and we don't want to see it with our eyes. What Fulanese are doing is exactly is terrorism. They live like terrorists. That's a terrorism lifestyle. And we cannot take it. They should forget, even though we know that they have used our resources and our money to bribe the United Nations and the EU. That is why you see them keep quiet. Except from Amnesty International, which is, they are trying their best. But that will not warrant us to stop fighting for what is good. Nobody can take our love from us. Nobody can. Families are trying their possible to take our love, but they cannot do it. At least not Igbo Biafrans. It will never happen. Instead, we will burn down everywhere. If other people in Biafra land won't allow their land to be taken away, that is their own problem as far as I'm concerned. But not Ibo Biafra. They cannot take our land from us. They can't. Only assuming. Only assuming all these people that call themselves, all of them, those ethnicity from inside Biafra, only assume they respect themselves and come together. At least listen to Mazin and the Kalu. It's not because of money, they are, and what am I even talking about? Even the ones close to him, because of money, they, they, some of them left. Talk less off. The ones that are a little bit far from him. But this is exactly what we will not take from anybody. If you are fighting for Biafra freedom, fight it with your heart and your soul. And stop 
beaching around. Yeah, one leg will be in Jericho. Yeah, one leg will be in Jamaica. One the other one will be in, 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 in Jakarta. That is exactly what we don't want to see. Fight for Biafra restoration. Fight to protect her land against these Janja weeds. That is why you see them. They are always together. Even the governors, they protect them more than every other thing. It's only when it comes to to our own land, all these are homosexual governors, they will start bitching around. We can no longer take it from anybody at all. Fulani cannot take our land. They can't. They can only try. But as far as ESN is there, they cannot take our land. That is exactly why we have to sponsor them in a big way. Guys, all the whole money you spend giving 100 million, 200 million to women, call yourself uh, uh, okay, Mario for this, okay, Mario of Jakarta, okay, Mario of uh, Lebanon, or this and that. Different, different names. Use it now. Judicial, use it now. And sponsor ESL. They need to be well equipped, like I said before. Because this, as I've seen it, is going to end in arm struggle. Because we cannot allow Flannies to take our land. And we cannot allow anybody to determine for us what to be and how we should live our life. And we cannot go down with some set of people that has refused to grow up. Rather, they prefer to wallow in terrorism every day by day. We cannot go down with such people. That is why we are no longer interested in this contraction called Nigeria. British government should come and take the country that they created. We don't need it. We will continue to struggle to fight until we get what we are looking for. That's all. And if the houses know what is good for them, they should stop joining these people that cause themselves flannies. They are not the same. They came to their land, they killed their kings. They turned them into sort of different things. Today, they are moving. Whereas they are just a few percent of people. Every time you see them, they say, I was a flan, I was a flan. All of a sudden, they start to flan. No, no longer after flan. I was a flan, now it's gone. We cannot take it from anybody. Because of this, from here and now, I will say, Good night. Please, great viewers, share this news. Drop your comment in the comment section and stay blessed. Cheers.